There's a place, out past Auburn. Uh, this is the Flaming Dragon Ranch. But you could call it Shireen Fitzgerald's castle. This will be Santa's sleigh. Where she collects. This is one, this is George. These are the knights that the dragon is sworn to protect. This is made of 90% scrap. And crafts. Art car or a mutant vehicle for Burning Man. Come on up. Right, that's kind of fun. It's like you're driving a boat. And at the base of the driveway, standing over five feet tall. Yeah, our guard dragon. Last week, a pair of thieves backed up a truck and took away her icon. We actually named our ranch after it. For us, it, it's like part of our identity was taken away. Yep. An identity for her. You see it and you just know you're home. A local attraction for others. We had people stop by uh, all the time. Families stopping by to take family photos. So when someone stole it. Words that shouldn't be said on the news. <laughs> <laughs> this is Meatball. He was sleeping. Tire tracks right there. The dragon's watch was short-lived, only about a year. Both of us knew that there was a little bit of an inherent danger by keeping it out by the road, um, but we each choose to see the good in people. The thing about the dragon, though. It's unique, but it is not one of a kind. The statue, many had come to love and given a whole ranch its namesake. It's a Halloween decoration from Home Depot. They only sold it one year. So while it might have been replaceable. The dragon gave himself up to the robbers in order to protect us and our home. Shireen just wants her dragon back. To me, it's more than an inanimate object. It was, it was more of a feeling than a thing.